Uh, I call to order this uh, uh, City Manager Council Workshop for Monday, April 4th, uh, 2011. And we have currently on our agenda tonight um, just some new business, which is all uh, interviews for commissioners. And um, Mr. All, do we want to uh, put uh, that additional item on or consider it? Yes. Mr. Mayor, I would uh, request that the council put a very brief item on there just to designate uh, a couple of members potentially from the council as liaisons to our collection system, uh, organized collection analysis, just so we have a council member or two. Uh, certainly Mr. Nephew, it's up to the council, but Mr. Nephew has been very involved in that process. And I know you have as well, Mayor. Uh, Ms. Juneman is a member, so I would suggest that we have that as a discussion item for a brief discussion. And since uh, also our first interview candidate is uh, is ill and unable to attend, our first interview won't be until 540, so you may want to put it first on the agenda. Uh, all right, so um, we'll add that <coughs> under new business and make it the new number one. And so it would be appointment of council members to the environmental subcommittee? Yes. Are there any other things that <clears throat> need to be considered for the in agenda? I'll move approval of the agenda as amended. Second. Uh, all right, Mr. Nephew has made a motion. Um, it was seconded, I think, by a whisker by Mr. Lanis. <laughs> to approve the uh, agenda um, with the one item that we added having to do with uh, appointing a couple of council members to the environmental um, subcommittee on organized hauling. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> Sounds like ayes all. And then I was remiss, I'll drop back briefly and just note for the role that all council members are present. And so, uh, with our approved agenda, uh, the first thing is uh, to have a brief discussion about uh, appointing a couple council members to the, ec the Environmental uh, Subcommittee on Organized Hauling. And so, I believe that what we want to do is, as we move into um, the process that we approved at our last meeting, uh, just not have any conflicts um, and make sure that we have designated um, a couple people. And as uh, uh, Mr. All indicated, I would I would personally agree that uh, Mr. Nephew would be an excellent person uh, to be continuing forward with uh, this discussion. And then beyond that, uh, I, I really don't care. <coughs> Ms. Juneman is the uh, liaison to that commission, and so she might be a logical choice um, and might also um, eliminate the possibility of her showing up because she's the liaison and then having two other appointed people um, in you know we can I'm sure manage to avoid that but but I guess I, I'm saying that uh, that I certainly don't uh, feel a need to be considered Mr. All. Good luck with that. <laughs> there we got it. Um, just for the entire council uh, the thought process involved uh, this uh, as we move through the uh, organized collection. Uh, there will be a number of meetings with various groups, including meeting with the haulers, um, and had some concerns that uh, certainly council members are very interested in that process. We obviously don't want to have uh, you know a quorum of the council show up for meetings, uh, but also concern from the staff standpoint. We want to keep the council. Um, up to speed with information, but we also want to be sure you as a council are, are fully aware that there may be a member or two that are attending more of the meetings and then that those one or two members could help us as staff bring the information back because there's just going to be tons of meetings and then tons of information that will come back to you as a council and, and involved. Uh, for instance, uh, one example that I would share with you uh, the gentleman that spoke early at the public hearing about organizing neighborhoods. We thought, I personally, and I think the mayor also as well, thought very interested in him and we're going to try to meet with him. Well, I thought it would be helpful to have one or two of the members of the council and also uh, we, there's a subcommittee from the Environmental and Natural Resources Commission. So we may have 
four, potentially five people uh, other than staff working on this so that we've got plenty of people involved in that uh, uh, process and then can move forward accordingly. And again, it's the idea of sharing information, making sure we get that information uh, readily available. Mr. Lanus. My only concern with the gentleman that spoke first is that that is his for-profit business and that there might be a, a, a vested interest in, on his part that would be potentially self-serving. I certainly appreciate his, uh, his, his comments that night, but I think there might be citizens who would share, you know, like-minded thoughts without having a, a business interest in that. And uh, I, let me just say, and I don't want to get too deep into this because all we really want to do here is this quick agenda item and not get into a big Correct. discussion uh, that has not been put on the agenda. Um, and, and so certainly we realize what the situation is, but we thought that uh, it might be interesting to meet with him and actually understand what it is he does. So. Um, Mr. Copen. Okay. Um, so, um, Mr. Nephew. Just as a procedural clarification, so this is not uh, like an appointment to a, a formal uh, body set up as a commission or something by the council. This is uh, this is an informal two council members who, by consensus, are going to be kind of taking the lead on this and bringing information back to the council. So. That will be just you know personal research and participation in things, but not uh, not formal things where there will be minutes or open meeting notices or anything like that. Correct? Really, that's my recommendation to the council. I think that would uh, be the exact purpose: is that kind of an informal and again getting back to that issue, making sure that we don't have one or two council members with a lot more information than other council members simply because of their involvement and, and uh, that the council acknowledges uh, that and then we'll share the information back that through uh, those two members. Just as a follow-up, I'm willing to do that as one of those members if everyone wants that. Ms. Juneman. So am I unless someone else really wants to take on the mantra of trash <clears throat> or trash man. As I said, I'd be comfortable with that arrangement. Uh, Mr. Lanus or Mr. Copen, do you have any particular thoughts? I concur. We have one. James, you sure you don't want it? Well, it's very kind of you, but I think she's more qualified. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you, you gave me a big plug at the other meeting uh, and, you know. <laughs> getting even, is he? <laughs> uh, all right, well, so then I don't think we need any vote. We'll just um, say that uh, Ms. Juneman and Mr. Nephew will be the go-to council members as the staff needs uh, to have some participation. Very good. Thank you, Council. All right. So the next thing we need to do is to go through the list of questions for our upcoming interviews and just decide who's going to ask which ones. The first sheet that I have in my packet is the Business and Economic Development.